This tutorial demonstrates how to create menus in Hippo Animator. We've already added some buttons and some rounded boxes to this movie. To create a menu, we need to add a new timeline. We'll arrange the buttons we have already created like a menu. Hold Shift to select all the buttons, make sure you select the Home button last. Then, use the Align menu, to make the buttons the same size, the same distance apart, and the same left position. We add a rounded box, as the background of the menu. Move it behind the buttons, and arrange it. Then, we add another rounded box to use as a shadow. We reduce the opacity of this box, to make it look more like a shadow. The menu is complete. Return to the movie. Add a button to the editor, we will use it to show the menu. In the movie properties, turn off loop and auto play. This won't be an animation. Create a new frame for the button, at frame 1. This will be the frame, where the menu is shown. Add the menu timeline to the editor, at frame 1. In the onclick event for the button, add the script, go to and stop 1. Click play to test the movie. When you click the button, the movie jumps to frame 1, and the menu is shown. Add a hotspot to the library. Place the hotspot in the editor at frame 1, and arrange it so that it fills the entire movie. Move the hotspot behind the menu. In the onclick event for the hotspot, add the script, go to and stop 0. The hotspot covers the movie, when it is clicked anywhere, the menu will disappear. Let's also add a test function to the home button, in this case, alert home. Also add, go to and stop zero. Press play, and test the home button in the menu. The home button shows an alert, and the hotspot hides the menu, when you click anywhere else. We can achieve the same effect without using timelines. Drag the menu and the hotspot to frame 0, and delete the button at frame 1. Turn off the timeline for the menu, and set its script ID to, Menu. Also, turn off the timeline for the hotspot, and set its script ID to, Hotspot. Turn off visible for the hotspot, and the menu. Change the script for the button to, menu.visible equals true, and, hotspot.visible equals true. Change the script for the hotspot to, menu.visible equals false, and, hotspot.visible equals false. Test the movie. You get the same effect without using the timeline.